So, the Explorer's gone. Now we got rid of all our, our shit that we had with it. We got most of it. I actually forgot a couple things. I was going to throw some stuff in there to go with uh, the car. Um, I have a little gasket here. This goes from the transmission to the extension housing. And uh, it seals that up. And then this here is a valve body gasket for the 4R 5 5 transmission. If anybody needs these gaskets, let me know. This uh, this has actually never been opened, so it has a brand new gasket in here. I think this is for the um, from the transmission to the separator plate, so this would be the upper gasket. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is pouring down right outside, and it is nasty. Anyways, got gaskets here if you need them. I'll give you a the part number there for that. Part number for that. Um, but we're going to make a little thing uh, to go up on our wall because we have no decorative thing. We're going to start making a little wall of uh, the vehicles that have been worked on here. You know, we're going to have you know a couple Chevy emblems. We've got a Mustang. We're going to get a Toyota, and then we're, we're making our Ford Memorial here for the Explorer. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Shortly after we did the transmission on the Explorer, I uh, replaced the front emblem with uh, one that was a little bit better off of 98. This one is the original. I took off the front grill. This one has got history. This has been through shitty snow up in the mountains going to Idaho. This has been to the beach countless times. You know, I mean, the chrome is like, the wind is fading the chrome. Worn down by the wind and the weather. So this guy here, um, is gonna go on this transmission pan that I got. That came off that transmission we put in there. And we're gonna draw a couple holes. And then they got one that's already punched in there. This little center piece will go in there. We'll draw two holes, two little ones, and just press this in there. And then we'll get that nice and wiped down and we'll throw it up on the wall over there. And remember the Mustang Adam had? We kept this. So, I'm thinking, maybe run this in the bandsaw and try and cut this end off. We'll get that up there somehow. This was the original to the 94 Mustang as well. So we got a couple things we're going to throw up on there. Um, I don't know if you can see this. You pretty much can figure this one out. Our uh, little table here is an absolute mess. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of put some things away, straighten it up a little bit, and then uh, we'll get working on this thing. Here's the pan we're going to be working with. And all of the valve body bolts that were kind of in that transmission. Um, yeah, we did want to put some weight on that. We kind of bowed that thing in a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna kind of, you know, put these bolts in like a little baggie or something because uh, I never want these come in handy. So uh, people are saying uh, at all, you'll miss it. You'll miss that explorer. No, I won't. I miss it. Quite a bit. It's you know, it's almost like losing a family member. You know, that's that's kind of how we valued that car. You know, we had it since '97. Like I've you know uh, mentioned before, and uh, you know, it got us through some tough times. It got us when uh, it got us through when we were poor. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. And, uh, you know, it got us through those rough times. You know, and. Uh, We've done our best to take care of it, and uh, she, she did pretty good. You know, I've been up until that we put a transmission in with that pump, and I uh, kind of said, fuck this shit. But you know, we got three of our dogs in that car. Um, you know, 
two of which that have that have passed away in the time that we've owned it. And that's a long freaking time to have a you know a car like that. And it's been through every Idaho trip, you know, every beach run. You know, I've had it since uh, last year of my high school. Um, my last, um, my last semester of my senior year. And it didn't give me any problems then. I was getting like 10 miles of the gallon, but I fixed that through some, uh, through a tune-up. But my, uh, my reason for getting rid of it is, you know, it's not because it's a Ford, you know, we, Fords ran in our family. We never really had any problems, real serious fucking issues with Fords, uh, other than the uh, 89 Taurus that we had. Um, we believe that it was in a wreck at one point, and that's our belief for why it was such a piece of shit. Otherwise, I've heard people have great success with the Taurus, you know. And somebody that told me they had a station wagon just like the one we had, and they didn't have any problems with it. And that's kind of like our situation with the Explorer. We didn't really have any problems with it. It was generally pretty good. Um, but I got rid of it because I can't afford the downtime. I can afford to put a manual transmission in, but the, the downtime I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. And I, you know, st been having some back problems for the past, you know, a couple of years. And to have a car that I got now that has more support, more back support, is huge. And it, it's done wonders for me. So, um, anyways, enough of reminiscence. Um, so I showed you the fluid before uh, when the pump failed. This is what it, you know, supposed to look like. I'm kind of done with automatics right now. You know, as much as I like not having to shift and work a clutch, um, you know, it's, it's really not really worth it to me right now. And I've never really driven a stick, and uh, you know, the learning experience is awesome, and uh, it's great that I'm doing it with a new car. Not with one that's like fucking just pissy and the motor's not right and it's just no, not happening. And I'm about ready to hit this up with some cleaner. You know, if it weren't for the Explorer, I wouldn't really know a whole lot about working on cars. That's where I got a lot of my experience is working on that car. Because it's you know somewhat easy to work on, at least uh, you know suspension-wise. Because it's just truck suspension. It's pretty you know simple. Simple shit. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So we were thinking...
I won't be spending, you know, a whole lot of my paychecks anymore, just mainly just for the bills, you know. Um, I think I'll start saving up. We might do some uh, speaker speakering. Son of a bitch. Can't hardly see this one. Awesome, I love it. It's our, we are, our wall. Our wall of shame and fame, maybe? I think I might just call it the wall of fame, because it's not really, not really shameful of anything, you know, no, you know, all our cars that we've had aren't perfect, you know, nothing's really perfect. At some point or, or not, it's gonna break. Whether it's your Chevy or your Ford or your Dodge. Um, in case our Dodge broke at about 69,000 miles, our Explorer broke at 170 or so, and our Flex, yeah, we're waiting. Uh, we got that. I'm gonna think of something for the Mustang, and then we'll probably go to the yard um, either today or tomorrow or the next day, and we'll get a Chevy emblem, and uh, we'll throw that up here too. Hey, that works. There. Yeah. I really belong. Fucking Windows 98!